Strudel. I'm in Bozen for already the fourth or fifth time this year, but so far I spent a lot of time on cross-country skis, exploring the area just around Bozen and I went to uh, Andaselva. And maybe I'll do another bit of cross-country skiing tomorrow, but for today I'm going to take the bike. It's really a fantastic area for cycling. Yeah, you know, I, 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 every time I come here, I see the mountains left and right, and I'm thinking like it would be so fun to just go out and have a ride. This time I actually took my bike and I'm going on a ride. It's something that includes some first hills of the season because you know, you want to get the legs started nicely. Now, see, what I'm going to do is a ride that takes me from Bozen uh, to the south of South Tyrol. Basically, just down here, uh, you're already in Trentino, where they speak Italian, but all the way until here, it's the German-speaking part of, uh, of Trentino Alto Adige. And then here is a former uh, tram line that connected Kaltern uh, with Bozen. Now it's converted into a fantastic cycling lane. So the slope is not too high, and I continue going up here to uh, the Mont Eagle Zee, the lake of Mont Eagle, and I recently figured that actually there is an a way down from that uh, lake on the other side as well that you can go by road bike. Uh, then you know I, I reach the lake of Caldaro and I go up again to Caldaro and further go down south to Tramin. Tramin you might know because that's actually the village where the Gewürztramina, this famous vine from South Tyrol, comes from. You know then I continue south and over here this is an area where you can you can climb like crazy. So the part I do is the easy part, but if I were to continue up here, you'll find slopes that exceed 15% by a wide margin. I'm wondering how much all of this weighs together. Uh, it's half my, half my luggage that I'm going to wear just for one day. I think that must be together, that must be almost like two kilograms that I wear extra. Uh, that definitely is an advantage of cycling in summer because you don't have all that much gear. So I just go down and then I reach the Adige edge in German and there is a fantastic cycling lane that goes all the way back, back up to uh, Bozen just that from here on I know it already so I'm going to take a route that leads me more through the vineyards before then I indeed finish along the Adige and reach Bozen again. <laughs>
ಹ್ಞೂ ರೀ